guys how did you do that trick here with another magic trick tutorial oh boy if you guys follow me on the gram which is pig cake 69 you would know that i put two color changes on there recently that involve a one-handed fan well luckily for you your boy pig cake has a tutorial now i've done some due diligence and checked around the magic space to make sure that this isn't going to lead me down a path where i'm the subject of a snarky tweet so without any further ado hey you're really not gonna tell him oh ha ha thank you for reminding me there peanut gallery pig cake uh, i actually have a new project coming out very soon and because of that i'm having a fire sale i'm having a fire sale b bitch use code piggy shill to get 35 percent off a limited time only as a matter of fact till sunday so get get on that take this opportunity to get some of those hot hot projects at hot hot prices look at the description in the link it's like a win-win for everyone it's a triple win you get some hot magic i get some of that hot cheese whiz i get to spread my seed all over the magic community so go ahead and check that out so, uh let's let's get into the video oh hey there so some of you clubber cats would have noticed that I dropped two different color changes on Instagram. One is a double change and the other one is a single change of a playing card from a fan. Now I taught the double one on Patreon so you could go and check that out in the link below. However, I'm going to show you guys the single change and by process of figuring it out and common sense, you could kind of figure out how the other one is done or you could just check it out on Patreon and get some of those hot sponsor sponsorship dollars to pick cake. So for this, there are two different ways of doing it. One involves a little bit of a setup. The other one involves no setup. So let's go over the one that involves a setup first, and then I'll show you guys the other one. Oh boy, I'm so excited, man. You could just tell that I'm shaking from anticipation to show you guys. So first things first, you're gonna need a little bit of a prep preparation H. You're gonna take the second card from the bottom of the deck and turn that the other way around and then put the bottom card on top of that that's that's the setup the reason for this is because this is going to allow you to do that little bit of a tricky display where you show the cards to be face down here then you could turn the deck over use this card as a cover card you see how clever that is so that they don't see this and wonder hey why is there a card the other way so now you could spread the deck and show I ignore that double backer, but you could spread the deck and show that it's a normal deck. Of course, you don't have to say it's a normal deck, but you could just uh, do it and it'll be fine. So what you need to do now is eliminate this bottom card using a slip cut, a bottom slip cut. So the way that works is that you're going to obtain a break above that card, whether that's a buckle or a pinky pull down. It's up to you. Luckily for most of us in the States, we could um say and do as we please um other countries you might have to just do a, a buckle so here you have a choice so here you have a break and you are going to swing cut approximately half the deck while keeping that card so that one more time looks like this you have the break there you swing cut the cards and that card goes along for the ride y you see what that does so now you've eliminated that cover card and at the bottom of the right-handed packet, that's right, you have the, the card that was the other way. The, you see that? That's the clever portion of this trick. So now, as you bring these two packets together, you could do a swivel cut, a little bit of a swivel cut, so that now this is being held by the left hand. Because in a moment, you're gonna do a really sneaky steal. You're gonna steal the card, but you're gonna do it under the cover of a one-handed fan. So here you're gonna do a one-handed fan with the right hand. With the cover of the fan, you're just gonna use your fingertips underneath to push that card right there between the middle finger and the forefinger of the right hand. So from the exposed angle, that's all that's happening. And of course, in the one continuous action, you're gonna push off with your thumb and turn this card over to show the jack of clubs oh boy so one more time here for the people from new guinea all right that might take a little bit of time to understand things you're going to steal the card from underneath the deck clip it between the middle finger and the forefinger so that's the 
forefinger and that's the middle finger and you're gonna clip it there you see what that does and this is done as you brush the deck ready to turn over that card on top of the deck now i do that a little bit of a optional revolution cut flourish here that's entirely optional that's just how i get the ladies you know you got to show them your dexterity and then also another thing that's optional is this uh twirl sort of thing that's that's an entirely optional thing but that twirl leaves you in the perfect position to accomplish the change you see what that does you could just as simply circumvent both of those by just doing this that's it so you're gonna push this card and angle it towards the upper left corner of the deck that that is the easy way to do it although the hard way is you just do that revolution cut and do this little twirl thing and then everybody knows exactly where you've been so here it's actually almost an automatic color change because if you square up this fan with the deck what's gonna happen is that you're gonna push this card in with your forefinger so you're gonna take this card and push it in with your forefinger at the same time if you square up this fan with the deck that card is gonna automatically side jog itself in the exact same position as the card was previous so let's go over that one more time you're gonna push this card in at the same time you're gonna square up the fan with the rest of the deck which leaves this card out jogged y you see the heat here can you feel the heat so from the front you got to watch your angles a little bit but if you put that card and angle it correctly, when you cover it with the fan, you push in with your finger and you could square it up with the rest of the deck and you have effectively completed the color change. Now, if you want, you could just revolve this card and show it in whatever cardister way you want, but you have effectively changed the color of the card in a very uh, pretty fashion. And again, all that's done by just sneaking this card underneath the deck, squaring it up at the same time that you're covering the deck and squaring up the fan with the rest of the deck and you get this wonderful color change oh man boy i can't wait to see all the people do this incorrectly on instagram anyway so that's the first method here which requires a little bit of a setup however you could go around the setup by doing a simple move you see that that's it because by turning the deck face up and doing the actions with a face up deck now all you have to do is steal this bottom card and you're going to be in the exact same position so now you can execute the color change with this card at the face and it's going to be effectively the same thing only without a setup so you've changed the five into a jack so as opposed to having some sort of setup where you need to reverse this bottom card by just simply turning the deck face up you could accomplish the exact same thing oh boy man boy if you guys aren't uh doing all the things then you guys are really missing out but that is a fan color change it's almost self-working if you get to that last bit because technically all you have to do is once you have that card underneath is square up that card with the uh, rest of the deck sorry the fan with the rest of the deck and that card's gonna out jog itself automatically so even if you want you could do this as a little bit of a production as a matter of fact i hinted at this a uh, little bit of a fan production move on uh instagram because i did uh, i think it was this this fancy cardister cut i did this right and then that which you catch and you look like you're an absolute savage to all the ladies uh but that's the exact same move that's the exact same move that card just becomes uh out jogged automatically by sticking my finger out anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that thank you guys for uh following me and uh watching these videos it really does mean a lot oh boy uh you guys should go and hug a stranger hug a stranger today it really means a lot to them i'm gonna go figure out different ways to use pocket lint as a way to get super liked on tinder see you again when i 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 see you again